Today we'll be continuing our talk about maintenance on the wet wall. With the pads removed, it is now time to focus on the metal components. This includes the front cover and the drip pans to be washed in the cleaning area. We will be power washing the front cover and drip pans. For this step, I like to use a high pressure steam nozzle or a scrubbing nozzle as demonstrated here. Since the material is made of metal, the nozzle should be between 6 to 12 inches away to allow for proper cleaning. Next, we're going to pump out the reservoir tank. Using the pump attached to the wet wall, attach a garden hose to the spigot. Before turning on the pump, make sure the hose is in a location for the dirty water to drain out and turn the water supply off. We usually pump the water outside of the greenhouse. Make sure to flush the reservoir with clean water for several minutes before unhooking the hose from the clean out spigot. After this process is done, we're going to reassemble the wet wall. Start by placing the drip pans into the drain pipe. Then place the pads upright on the top of the drain pan. Finally, attach the front cover when finished. Make sure to turn the water supply back onto the wet wall and that the pump is powered back on. 